Hey guys, welcome to my week 6 pregnancy update, bump date, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this week baby is the size of a ladybug or um, you know those things on 4th of July that you can get and you like, they're super small and they're white and you take them and you throw them on the ground and they make a pop noise. I, think, I call them pop rocks but I don't know what people call them. It's the size of that. Um, so it's still very tiny, obviously it's only six weeks old, it's very tiny. Not even six weeks, but tiny. Baby is starting to form, um, like the spots where the eyes are going to be, it's starting to form like paddles where it's for its uh, arms and legs, and so it's just developing rapidly. So um, this week my nausea has gotten much much worse so beforehand I did have nausea and it was constant nausea but it was just like nagging in the back of my you know my head like it's in nauseous but whatever like I can deal with it this week it's ramped up so much harder and it's just like to the point where like all throughout the day I'm just like I'm gonna puke I'm gonna puke I'm gonna puke I'm gonna puke but I still have not puked yet but it's just like it's gotten so much worse and nothing I can do fixes it and it's just really really hard <sighs> so the nausea is really bad and it's so hard because like I know I had nausea last time when I was pregnant with Grayson but I don't remember if it was like this bad which le me leads me to think and this is just like my intuition right now I don't remember if I said it in my last video but I'm thinking this baby is a girl I'm thinking it's a girl because I feel like my nausea is worse that could just be what I'm thinking I also, um, I've been getting a lot of acne and I feel like I got a little bit of acne but not as much last time and so they always say like, oh if you have a lot of acne then you're having a girl because they say like the girl steals your beauty or whatever. And the other reason is the, I did the Chinese calendar so you, um, you put in your, uh, the date you were, how old you were when you conceived and then you put in uh, the month that you conceived and then they'll tell you if you're having a boy or a girl. When I did this for Grayson, it said it was a boy. He turned out to be a boy. So I did it this time and it said girl. Now I understand all of these are just like 50-50 chance and it's not saying anything, but um, my intuition right now, I'm thinking it's a girl. It could change. Honestly, I would be happy either way if it's a boy or a girl. If it's a boy, Grayson would have a brother to play with. I already have all the boy stuff. Like, I'd be set. On the other hand, if it's a girl, it would be so fun to buy like all new clothes, the hair bows, and tutus. It would be super fun. So I, I'm happy either way, but right now for some reason I'm just thinking it's a girl. We'll see. My nausea seems to be worse at night and first thing in the morning. Um, I get up in the middle of the night now. Uh, because I have to pee, I can't hold it all night, and so I get up and pee, and then I come back and try to fall back asleep. I'm so nauseous that I cannot fall back asleep because the nausea is so bad. And then when I wake up in the morning, my nausea is really, really bad too. I think just because, like, obviously I'm not eating at night because I'm sleeping, and so I think having an empty stomach is hard on me. So I'm trying to eat more, but nothing is sounding good. Um, and so it's it's tough. I'm have, I'm eating a lot of crackers. <laughs> this pregnancy, it's funny. My body temperature is really crazy. I'll be hot one second, and then I'll be absolutely freezing one second. I do seem to be more cold this pregnancy. Last pregnancy, I was always super hot. Now that could be because in the beginning of my pregnancy, of my first pregnancy, it was in the summer. It was like July, August, and this pregnancy, I'm starting off in January. So it could have to do with you know the time of the year but I am absolutely freezing all the time I'm always turning up the temperature I'm wearing a million layers and Anthony's like sweating <laughs> because I'm because I'm turning everything um, up so high during week six I was able to tell my mom and my dad and two of my very close friends that I was pregnant so with my mom and dad for Christmas my siblings and I got them a picture frame and it's one of the, it's a digital one, and it's one where you can hook your phone up to it, and so anytime you get a picture on your phone, and you want to send it to the picture frame, you can just send it, and it'll just show up automatically. So when I was at my mom's house, uh, visiting her while Anthony was away on a business trip, I put the picture in the picture frame, I waited for her to see it. Oh my gosh, it took her four 
ever to notice it and she didn't notice it for a whole morning and I was getting tired of waiting but I didn't want to tell her like I wanted her to find it on her own so eventually like I had the picture like shuffled with a bunch of other pictures and so I just took all the other pictures out so it just stayed on the one picture the whole time and it was a picture of my letter board and it said like maybe Denzel number two due September 2020. And I just kept that up and finally once I did that she noticed it. She was very excited. She was shocked even though she asked me all the time when are you getting pregnant? <laughs> so it was super exciting that she figured that out and then um I did the same thing with my dad after he got home from work. It was kind of hard to do it though because I didn't want to tell my brother who still lives at home because I want to tell all my siblings at the same time. So it was like I had to be sneaky and do it like when he was at school or at work or whatever. But it worked out. And then with my two friends, um, we met up because again I was in town visiting. And so we had a girls night and they had all brought wine and my friend was like, oh, can I pour you a glass? And I said, oh, no, no glass, no wine for me. And they both looked at me like, what? And I was like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> so they were shocked. Um, my one friend has one baby. He's like three months younger than Grayson. My other friend doesn't have any babies. So they were shocked, but super happy for me. So more people checked off my list in a couple weeks. I'll be telling all of my siblings that we're pregnant, so I'm very excited for that. I am thirsty all the time, um, so I'm constantly drinking, which I do remember this from my last pregnancy. Um, and even breastfeeding, I was super thirsty all the time. So I am drinking a ton, and I am peeing a ton, but actually not as much as I remember. And maybe it's just because like, the baby's small, so it's not pushing on my bladder yet, but I'm not peeing much more than what I was beforehand, so that hasn't hit me yet. I have been having really vivid dreams. Um, I can't really remember any of them now because it's been a couple days, but like when I wake up in the morning after I'm sleeping I, and I have a vivid dream, like I can remember it clearly. And I'm having some of the craziest dreams. I have also noticed that I have been really tired, which makes sense. I'm growing a baby, so um, I fall asleep really easily. It's just when I wake up in the middle of the night, it's really hard for me to fall back asleep because I'm nauseous. <laughs> but I am tired all the time. A couple days ago, I was, all of a sudden I sneezed and I had a really, really sharp pain like in my uterus area. And I don't feel like that ever happened with my last pregnancy. Maybe it did. I haven't had too much cramping or anything, but I had a really sharp pain. It lasted for about like 30 seconds and then it went away. And I was freaking out, of course. And, um, I don't know if it was round ligament pain already. I mean, that seems really early. Um, I don't know if it's just like my uterus expanding, but yeah, that was a new one for me. Um, my favorite apps right now that I have on my phone, my absolute favorite one that everyone should have if you're pregnant is called Baby Center. It has new things to look at every day, but the best thing about Baby Center is the community that is on there. And so once you put in your due date, get put on a board with everybody else on the app that is due during the same month that you are. So right now I'm part of the September 2020 birth board or whatever. And people, like there's, well right now I think there's like 14,000 people on it, but like towards the end like it grows to so like almost 40,000 people. And you can, um, you can post questions on there, if you have a question you can responses and it's all anonymous you can just make up a username for yourself and it is so entertaining to see the questions that people ask on there and to see like how some people have really crazy lives somebody wrote on there and said and said can blowing your nose cause a miscarriage that was a new one. I've never heard somebody ask that. And so just seeing the responses on that, oh, it was making me laugh so hard. So I highly recommend go get download the Baby Center app because it is hilarious. And it's a great way to form a community. And if you have a question, a dumb question, or you know, a question you just can't find on Google, you can always just post there and you'll get an answer. So I really, I really, really like that app. Another really cool app that I have is called Sprout. And it has like very realistic, like 3D uh, image of what your baby looks like week by week by week. So that's really cool. The only problem with it is it only lets you have it for like 14 days and then you have to like pay to access it. So that's the only downside of it. But it is really cool. And then I also have the what to expect when you're expecting app. That one is okay, but 
um, I do it because I have a video every week of somebody telling you like what's going on, but that's really all I use it for. The community stinks. The questions only last for like five minutes and then they disappear. And they don't have some, like new articles every day. It's once a week. So that's kind of a bummer. But Baby Center is the best. So I wouldn't tell you guys about that. But I think that's all for week six. Yeah, so um, I have my first doctor's appointment scheduled. I will be uh, towards the end of my seven weeks. So I'm very excited to go to that and make sure everything is okay. But for now, I'm just going to try to survive and not puke and <laughs> try to sleep. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.